So now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to make incisal shade light. Incisal shade light is going to be made up of the Lava Plus liquids. We're going to use the W3 liquid. We're going to use the A1 liquid. We're going to use some distilled water. And we're going to use Effect Shade Gray. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create what I call gray water. So in the tray I've got 50 milliliters of distilled water. And for the incisal shade light, we're going to use two drops of the gray effect liquid. Now this liquid is very oily, and so if you see it sits right on the bottom of the, uh, of the water. So it's got to, be, got to be stirred in pretty well. Make sure that we get all that gray liquid incorporated into the water. That's now our gray water. Uh, so to make incisal shade medium, we would add four drops of gray to 50 milliliters of distilled water. If we were making incisal shade dark, we would add six drops of gray effect shade to 50 milliliters of distilled water. So in order to finish our formulation for the incisal light, we're gonna start with the Lava Plus W3 and Lava Plus A1 liquids. We're gonna use five milliliters of the W3 and 20 milliliters of the A1. And we're gonna mix those into our jar. Then we're going to add 10 milliliters of the gray water that we've just mixed a moment ago into this mixture. This is the formula for the incisal light. And into that formulation now, we're going to place a couple of drops of the blue indicating liquid. And that's our incisal light formula. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll demonstrate an A2 shade. And to achieve an A2 shade using XT material, we're going to once again use Lava Plus liquid, in this case A2. And we're going to dilute the Lava Plus liquid with 40% distilled water. And that's the formulation we have now. We've added the, the dye to it. And now we're ready to demonstrate how we layer these incisal and dentin colors onto our restoration.